Mrs. Pang in Florida would never know. Just past the Wonderland Greyhound Park, Sam pulled a cassette from his pocket and stuck it in the radio. It was you two's The Joshua Tree. Charlie sang along to With or Without You. Bono, rock, Sam said. The boss. Bono, the boss. Draw? Draw. They drove silently for a while, then Sam asked out of the blue, How long will it be until I'm grown up? You already are, Charlie answered. I'm serious. When do I stop being a kid? Officially, Charlie said. When you're 12, you're a man, and you can do what you want. Says who? Says me. I'm a man, and I can do what I want, Sam said, enjoying the sound bit. A great moon floated on the Saugus River, and he rolled down the window. Look, he said, it's bigger tonight. It must be closer to us. Nah, Charlie said. It's always the same distance. It's just an optical illusion. What's that? When your eyes play tricks on you. What kind of trick? W wherever it is in the sky, Charlie said. It's always 225,745 miles away. He did the math. Numbers were easy for him. At our speed right now, it would take about 170 days to get there. Mum would, wouldn't be too crazy about that, Sam said. And Mrs Pung wouldn't be too happy about the mileage. The boys laughed. Then Sam said, it's no optical delusion. It's closer tonight. I swear. Look, you can see a halo, just like an angel. No such thing, Charlie said. That's for a fraction of the ice crystals in the upper atmosphere. Gee, I thought it was a refraction of the ice crystals on your butt, Sam howled as after, and Oscar barked in a series of sharp, distinctive woofs. Charlie checked his mirrors, aimed the car straight ahead and took one quick glance to the right. The moon was flickering between the iron railings of the drawbridge, keeping pace with them as they sped home. It sure seemed closer than ever tonight. He turned his head for a better look. He thought the bridge was empty, so he pushed down on the gas. Of all his reckless decisions that night, surely this was the worst. Charlie raced the moon, and in the final second before the end, he saw the perfect image of happiness. Sam's innocent face looking up at him, the curl dangling over his forehead, the Rawlings glove on his hand, and then there was only fra fracturing glass metal and blackness okay everybody that is all i'm reading today i'm sorry this episode was split into two parts my phone for some reason just cut off but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll be carrying on with the beginning of a new chapter in tomorrow's episode bye